So I think that makes us very unique. In fact, uh, it's, when I travel around and uh, talk to other corporate people around America, they look at me like I'm from outer space when I talk about the fact that you know we have family values, that, that we stand for something, and it really is born of the fact that uh, we, at the end of the day, this entire company really is and has always felt like one large family. Um, and I do think that, you know, some people say that that's an, an anachronism in today's day and age. I don't believe that for a minute. I think it's something that's very cool and that we should keep alive. There was a whole generation when I joined the company of people who uh, had either uh, known my great-grandfather or had worked with him or had remembered when he came through the workspace uh, or used to run into him in Dearborn. And then I realized about 10 years ago that I wasn't hearing these stories anymore. Um, and that that whole generation of people that I guess I kind of always took for granted uh, had, you know, had retired and, and left the company. Um, and uh, so I think it's really important that, you know, that we all, and I'm, I'm really glad Bob Krepke, our corporate historians here, we really keep our corporate history alive because it's very different than, than most companies. About uh, now Henry Ford, I believe, would absolutely love what today's company stands for. We've recaptured our spirit of innovation. We've recaptured our, our, our ability to uh, be open to new ideas.
Nice cross. I've got a lot of wide truck. Should I jump in and get a little more? A little tighter pieces, perhaps? Sure. Empty. Sorry, Vaughn. Nope, it's good. Yeah. Okay, action now. 